What's up guys, Andrew here from Tom Goods Media. On today's episode, we're making beef short rib fried rice. When I was in an internship abroad, me and my roommates made this dish and I thought it was super delicious, but it was super simple as well. It may take some time, but I'm telling you right now, it's all gonna be worth the wait. So let's get started. Let's trim the short rib first. Now this cut of meat has a lot of fat. I'm just going to remove most of it. I still want some to be there, but I won't remove all of it. The short ribs I got were all separated from each other, but don't worry, we'll fix that later. Once we clean out the ribs, let's start by making our seasoning liquid, which we'll use to boil the ribs. For the seasoning liquid, let's start off by cutting some onions and some garlic. Just slice them to big chunks. Next, smash about 2 pieces of ginger and let's go to the stove and get our water ready. In a pot, pour in 12 cups of water. Drop your aromatics and add 1 cup of soy sauce, 1 half cup of fish sauce, and 1 fourth cup of sugar and stir it all up. Add the beef and make sure to submerge them completely. Bring it to a boil and cover it with a lid. Lower the heat and cook for 4 hours until the short ribs are nice and tender. Now remove the short ribs once they're tender. Let the ribs cool completely. Now don't throw away the liquid, we're gonna use it to cook the rice tomorrow. Let that cool too and refrigerate. For the ribs, I just stacked them on top of each other and placed another pan on top so that they set together. Wrap this with film and refrigerate overnight. For the rice, I made a mistake here where I cooked it with just the stock. It ended up burning in the rice cooker, so I removed it from the rice cooker and transferred it into a pot and added about 2 cups of water. I set the flame to low and let it finish off there. So what you guys should do is, for 3 cups of rice, add 3 cups of the liquid, plus 2 more cups of water. And just check it every once in a while. Let's cut our vegetables for our rice. Peel a carrot and use a mandolin to slice it to uniform pieces. We just want small pieces so that they cook faster. Next, slice our green and red bell peppers to the same size as the carrots. I'm just using a half of each. Finally chop some onions, again just following the size of the carrots. Slice up about 5 cloves of garlic. You can mince this if you don't like eating big pieces of garlic, but I like garlic so I slice it this way. Get your leeks and slice them very thinly for topping later. Place them into a bowl with cold water and ice so that they don't dry up. Slice the rest of the leeks for the rice. I also have some mushrooms here where I slice thinly with the stems on. Now let's get back to the short ribs. Bring them out of the fridge and remove the pan on top. As you can see the short ribs stuck to itself while cooling. Now we have a big piece of short rib. Just slice it in between the two bones so we get a big piece for plating and the rest we're gonna use for fried rice. Don't forget to preheat your oven before cooking your rice so that everything is nice and hot when we serve it later. Let's make some fried rice. In a pan, heat up about 1.5 tablespoons of butter. Drop in the carrots and cook for about a minute. We drop this in first because the carrots need more time to cook than the other vegetables. Drop in the onions, leeks, and garlic. Cook for about 2 minutes. Drop in the blood peppers and cook again for about 2 minutes. Now is the time to add the mushrooms. I added black pepper here, but not salt because we'll be seasoning everything later when we're almost done. Now if you feel your pan is going dry, just add more oil or butter to the pan. Add in your short rib meat and mix it all together. Once everything is nice and tender, it's time to add the rice. Just mix it all up and let the rice come up to temperature again. At this point, we can taste the rice for additional seasoning. I added about 1 tablespoon of soy sauce here because I feel like it needed a little bit more saltiness. Since your rice is almost done, heat up your ribs in the oven until it's nice and warm. Let's cook a soft boiled egg for this dish. Bring water up to a boil. Once it's boiling, add your eggs gently with a slotted spoon. Let this boil for 7 minutes. Once the time is up, let it cool completely before peeling the shell off. Let's plate it now, shall we? Take a scoop of rice and try to place it in the middle. Get a piece of short rib and put it on top of the rice. Now, gently place the egg beside the short rib. Top it off with leeks, which I've strained before adding it in here. Maybe sprinkle a little bit of molten salt on top just cause we're fancy here. And your fried rice is done. Let's cut the egg in the middle just for food porn. Well I guess you can say we've cooked the egg exactly how we want it. Time for the taste test. The ribs are nice and tender. The ribs are full of flavor and the taste almost reminds me of Paris. The rice is delicious as well, and if you like mushrooms, this is the dish for you. I hope to try this recipe at home. 
That's it for this video and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. This is Andrew from Tom Goods Media, signing off.